problem, uh, but you can handle it. It says, find the volume of the solid whose base is bounded by those three equations, and the cross-sections are perpendicular to the y-axis, and now we're dealing with an isosceles right, a right, isosceles right triangle with a leg lying in the plane. Okay, so lots of different stuff going on there. Like always, let's graph it. Okay, I'm going to zoom into the first quadrant because that's what we really care about here because of the y equals 0 part and the x equals 2. So I'm graphing here. y equals 0 is basically the x-axis. And x equals 2 is a vertical line at 2. What does y equals x cubed look like? That's an S-curve. So let's say we completely forgot how to do it, though. We could make a really quick T-chart to figure out how to graph y equals x cubed. Okay? So let's start at 0. What would you get at z when you plug in 0 for x? You'd get 0, right? 0 cubed is still 0. So that would be 1 point. What happens when you go to 1? What would your x value be? One. Still 1. Okay? And then when I plug in 2 what would my answer be? 8. Again, you can use your calculator here. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think it's easier to do them by hand. If they're pretty easy, do them by hand. You'll see the picture better. So remember what an S-curve kind of looks like. It's doing one of these. That's our graph. Okay, I want this shape here. The shape bounded by that line, that line, and that line. I'm going to change the colors because that's kind of blending in. Okay, so great, we've got our shape. Now we're doing perpendicular to the y axis. So are, are we going drawing horizontal lines or are we drawing vertical lines to be perpendicular to the y axis? Horizontal again. Yeah, we're drawing them horizontal. We're going from here to there and there to there, and there to there. And what kind of shape are we making? Isosceles right triangle, and it says that this is going to be the leg. So this is the shape we're going to draw, okay, where this is a right angle, and this leg is equal to that leg. That's what we're drawing here. So if I'm going from there to there, this leg should be the same length, and there would be another one. And then I'd have another one there, and another one there, and another little baby one there, and a tiny baby one up there. That's the shapes that we're doing, and we're stacking these vertically. Okay? So, let's set up an integration problem. When are we integrating this from? When to when? We're recording, so don't say silly things. Zero to eight. Okay, we're starting down here at the bottom, and we're drawing lines going this way. Okay, so we're going from zero to up there, which is eight. And what are those zero eights? Are they x's or y's? They're y's, so it's a dy problem. Okay? Once we know that part, then we want to talk about our shapes. What shape do we need to find the area of here? Isosceles right triangle. Well, what's the area of a triangle? One half base times height. So this is my base, this is my height. What is true about your base and your height on your triangle here? They're the same. So we could just say 1 half base squared. Okay? It doesn't matter which one you want to go with, but they're the same. Good there? Okay. So this is my area formula. So what do I need to know about my area in order to solve it? I need to know the what? I need to know what the base is. Okay, so over here I'm going to say, all right, According to this picture, my base changes each time. It was really big down here, and then as you go up, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So I need to have some sort of an equation to figure that out. So this is the part we're struggling with. Where, did I, where do I need to start it, and when, which equation do I stop with? So which one, we go for, if we're going horizontal like this, do we start with the left or the right equation? The right. Which equation do we start with on the right? Two. So we're going to start with 2. We're going to start with this line right here, that 2 line. And we're going to use that line minus the other one. 
x to the third. But remember, it's a dy problem. So what do I need to do with that x to the third? So I need to get make it x equals x equals what? How do I get rid of the cube? Cube root of y. So it's going to be 2 minus the cube root of y because that's the equation of the other curve when you get it to become an x equals problem. The y equals 0 is the bottom. That is telling me this integration number right there. That helps me there. It gives me the bottom part of my graph. Okay? So we've got that. That's my base. I want to know what my area is going to be. So what do I need to do with that equation right there? Plug it in. So it's going to be 1 half. 2 minus y cube rooted all squared. It's a calculator question. I don't want to do anything with it. If I wanted to square it, I would have to foil that out because it's two parts. You don't want to do that. Just leave it. Okay? So I'm going to plug in 1 half, 2 minus the cube root of y all squared. Who cares that it's ugly? It's a calculator question. That's plenty of information to go off of. Now all i got to do is type it in correctly. So math 9. I'm going from 0 to 8. And it's 1 half. So 1 divided by 2. Parentheses. 2 minus cube root of y. Let's say I forgot how to do cube root on my calculator. What else could I do with my y to make it cubed? Cube rooted. Math, uh, five. math 5 is one of them. The other way to do it is raise it to what power? One third. That's the same thing as cube root. Either way is fine. I'm going to do the one third power. Okay, so that two minus x to one third power, this part right here, it needs to be squared. So I got to close my parentheses and square it. D x. It's going to take a while. Yeah, that's an ugly equation, especially when you have the one third power. It's what's going to make it slow down. So my answer here. 1.600. That is the area of that shape, or the volume of that shape, sorry.